Hey y'all, and welcome to The Waxy Shop, also known as my kitchen. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by this video, and I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Help me grow my channel. I make videos all about wax melts, and today we are gonna be making some Valentine's Day wax melt brittles in the scent from Kendall Science Pink Sugar Crystals. This is actually the first time I've ever made a wax brittle, so I'm kind of just winging it. And the first thing I'm doing is taking this cookie sheet, which I do not bake with, it's only for wax melting, and I'm just gonna pour in a first layer of clear wax with the fragrance in it. I'm gonna mix up a second batch of wax with some pink in it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of red mica powder in it just to give it that pretty shimmer. I'm going to just pour in a random pattern, hoping to make a marble effect and hopefully it doesn't blend in too, too much. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of biodegradable glitter to the top. And I do add a little bit more right before the brittles almost completely solidified. Now the wax brittle is complete cooled so I'm gonna go over and pop it in my freezer for a little while so it can come out of the cookie sheet just a little easier and if you're wondering about the tile that's taped to my wall in the background uh, we are just trying out some tile options for some backsplash So here's the result. I think it came out so pretty. It definitely has that marbly effect a little bit, and it was way harder to break than I was anticipating. I don't know if it's because it was thick or because it was frozen. Now I'm just gonna quickly clean up my workspace a little bit. I had poured these when I was waiting for the brittle to be ready, but I feel like I'm gonna need a little bit more space to break this brittle. Here is the finished result. I think it came out so pretty. I love it so much. The sparkles are just really, really cute. I love the colors and the marble. And I would say for a first time brittle, this is pretty good. So 
I already had some of these boxes and bags on hand, so I'm just gonna use them to package up the wax brittle. I'm weighing them out to be as close to 55 grams as I can, that way they're all the same. Also, sorry, my table is a little wiggly. One of the legs was on the carpet and the rest were not, but in a minute here, I do push it off the carpet so it stops wiggling. And the last thing I do is just label them with the set name on the front and the warning label on the back, but then I realize that the weight that's printed on the warning label is not correct, so I end up just taking them off and I'll have to print out new warning labels with the correct weight later on. And this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.